video is going to show you how you can import your own sprites into Scratch. Remember a sprite is a character or an object that you can control, you can program using all these different commands here. So by default Scratch the cat is automatically there when we load up Scratch but for this we don't want to use him so in the sprite area we need to right click press delete and then we can now go about importing our own picture in that we can use for our sprite. So to import a picture it's the third option along the folder with the arrow so we press upload sprite from file and we select the file we want so this is a picture I'm going to use and as you can see it has uploaded it now there is my sprite I can move it around I can program it but I just want the character I don't want any of the background so I need to edit this now to remove the background to do this we have to go to costumes and once in costumes we can remove this background the first thing we need to do is just to zoom in a little bit so it's a bit more clearer we've got a bit better space to work with I'm going to zoom in once more even though it's very pixelated I'm only bothered about the outline of me here so I've zoomed in enough so it fills the space nice and big too small and it's quite tricky to do so along this toolbar here I can select my remove background button so it's a bit like a magic wand with the dots around it so we press that and then very carefully we trace around the outline of the shape we want to keep just going on the inside of the shape so it's quite tricky and it may take a while and if you're on a laptop you may be better using a mouse instead of the trackpad because it just gives you that little bit more control. Let's go around my feet there and it's important you make sure you go back all the way to the top and connect up with your starting dot. Don't worry if you miss parts of it too much because when you let go the program cleverly works out that you actually intended to have all that area selected. It goes off the different tones and colors and shades and patterns. So as you can see it's adjusted my sprite if we look here but the problem is we've still got part of this background here now if I go around again chances are it won't get rid of this so we have to go to the erase button and very carefully and gently just go around your character erasing the bits you don't want if you make a mistake you've got the undo button there so don't worry too much and again using a mouse is a lot better than the trackpad just for, for control really so I'm going to go here to tidy up that a bit there and that little bit there and there and as you can see if I zoom back out I've now got my sprite sorted if you want to adjust the size we need to go to the select button here it's the hand with the dotted line and just draw around your sprite and you can decide if you want to make it bigger or smaller so the second I click off that if we look at our stage I will grow and now we can start to control we can start to just program our sprite like that so that is how you import your own sprite into scratch you press the folder upload sprite and once it's uploaded you click costumes remove the background making sure you've zoomed in enough to get a decent size sprite to work with remove background erase any tricky bits and adjust the size as needed using the select button